Hello, this is Caleb Barney, and today is going to be a follow-up video from what I was discussing yesterday with supply, demand, and inflation, and how that is affecting uh, the housing market in Northeast Ohio. So, uh, recording this in the beginning of June of 2022, and I just wanted to go over a couple of things. So, I'm actually looking at an article right here from Fortune, uh, and it basically they've they've dubbed a shift in the market the great deceleration and they talk about uh the main factor here is the mortgage interest rates going from 3.11 to basically 5.1 um and that is pricing a lot of would be buyers out of the market so it's either decreasing the amount of home that they can purchase and therefore maybe they're just going to hold off on it or it doesn't even do that. It just knocks them out altogether, um, and they're not going to be eligible to purchase a home. So they're saying there's far less demand as a result of the increased uh, mortgage interest rates. So as a result, they're saying that there's going to be a deceleration in the housing price appreciation. So uh, again, saw a record per, uh, 20% year-over-year year jump in U.S. home prices between March 2021 and March 2022. So they talk about this, but again, this is only one side of the equation. So that's where I want to kind of show statistics for what we're looking at here in Northeast Ohio. So um, basically, they said by March, nationwide inventory levels on Zillow were 64% below March 2019 levels. But as mortgage rates approached 5%, Inventory levels began to rise again, and nationwide inventory levels rose 10%. So it sounds like, hey, there's much more inventory and much less demand, so things are going to level out. But again, if if levels increase 10%, but they're down 64% from just a couple of years ago, you still have way more demand than you have supply. And that's the example I brought up yesterday, where I was like, hey... Last year, we had maybe, you know, 10 plus offers for a well-priced home without any major defects. But even if you're at five, uh, you know, five offers for a home now, you're still getting multiple offers and you're still going to see bidding wars. So yes, it might not appreciate or it, you might not see quite that growth uh, year over year compared to last year, but you're still going to see a lot. And what I wanted to kind of show to highlight this are two charts. So this is going to be the um, active, or I'm sorry, this is going to be the number of sales or closed transactions for the last five years. And this you'll see, uh, actually it doesn't state, just because I have a huge list of schools. Basically it's the area that I serve primarily. So Strongsville, Brunswick, Medina, Highland, Buckeye, Cloverleaf, Wadsworth, um, Revere, Berea, stuff like that. But these are all of the closed transactions by month. And you'll actually see that, yeah, there's there's actually going to be fewer closed transactions for especially the past three months um, compared to years prior. But the reason why that is, is just because there's fewer active homes listed for sale as well. So you could see the chart, uh, just looking at the graph from here, I mean, you're always going to have seasonal peaks and valleys as far as how many houses are actually uh, selling. And basically, that's over a five-year time period right there. This five-year time period for active listings for homes for sale, it, you'll still see some peaks and valleys, but that trend for five years has essentially been going down, down, down. So yes, we are seeing fewer buyers. Um, there's less demand, but there's still a supply issue. And again, pairing that with the inflation issue where everything is getting more expensive, that's going to include houses. I really don't see um, house prices in our area slowing down that much. I know it's not what a lot of people want to hear, and I know it's an unpopular opinion, but uh, here are the statistics that I'm using to kind of back up that claim. If you disagree or even if you agree, let me know. Um, I'd love to chat with you and see what you think. Thanks.